Welcome back trainers and we're going to be taking a look at Spilus as well as Haunter. So we have the same team that I was using many seasons back. So this is another one of these creations here that turned out to be absolutely amazing. So let's see if it's going to hold up currently in the season that we are in now for season 11. They are going to be paired up with Azumarill. It is going to have Play Roof and Ice Beam. Nice shiny going on here. So Spilus going to be very weak to Charm because of the dragon and the dark and then you're going to have a weakness to fighting so those are the main ones right so we're going to have coverage for with haunter which is going to be extremely squishy you're going down in like two or three confusions so we have a double shiny swap here we got the shiny galarian stun fist versus the azumarill i love to see that there very nice so haunter is going to be great now we're going to have shadow ball and Sludge Bomb, we're going to maintain Sludge Bomb the entire video. But we're going to rotate out Shadow Ball for Shadow Punch because I have experience using this, but for the battles that I was having today and the situations that I was being put in, I felt like Shadow Punch, I just needed it. It was going down quite quick because, you know, it's squishy. Having those hard-hitting ghost stab moves for it is still going to be great. And with that said... Let's see what we have. Spilus is going to be putting in the work. Folks, we have some excellent battles. Make sure you hit that like button, please. I really do appreciate it. And with that said, let's see what we have. Swapping into the Spilus. Very low health up against that Reggie still here. So we have no more shields. Unfortunately, we're just going to have to let it go. In comes Haunter. Shieldless battle. We still have Shadow Ball here now. I think like around the four minute mark battle is where we're going to be swapping it out. I didn't actually put in when we're going to you know, TM it and stuff, so we'll just have to see when uh, we swap it out. And I'm going to have to say, yeah, it definitely a little bit more comfortable for sure, although Shadow Ball comes in handy. Next battle met with a Ferrothorn, so we're going to see resistance on their end with my Dragon Breath, and we're resisting their Power Whip. Svilus can take a hit. I mean, it's okay. You know, I have a pretty ideal IV set for this one here. Not the tankiest thing around, but, you know, it's got those nice resistances and also those weaknesses that you have to look out for. So they're getting to another... Power Whip, we're letting it go. Building up a little bit of extra energy here, just doing some Dragon Breath. Dragon Breath Stab's always going to be amazing. It's just beautiful. And we're seeing a Polyrath, so we're just going to go ahead and stay right where we're at. Let them farm us down. That's fine. We have the Azumarill in the back that's going to be able to handle this no problem. Look at how much we did. Over half with that Dragon Breath and Body Slam. Spilus is amazing. Super fun Pokemon to use. Since, unfortunately, Hydreigon is just not there yet when it gets to this community i'm sure it's gonna be great so we have a zapdos in the back so what's going on here this is the moment i realized you know i need to have shadow punch so we need to double shield these simple as that i'm actually not going to swap out i well i might get swap out the shadow ball after this for shadow punch but i think we might go one more battle uh so we're getting to the sludge bomb we're not even going to hit those bubbles it doesn't really matter yeah, we're getting a shield and we're actually able to take them down. I thought they'd be able to get to a drill pick. Bringing in the Polyrath at the end and we are getting them to back out. Taking that win. Let's keep it moving here. And we're leading with Spilus the entire time. Met with a Shadow Nido Queen here. They're immediately swapping into their Wall Rain, which is fine with me. We're going to build up a little bit of extra energy. So we have it ready to go for later and bring in our Zumeral here, which is going to have a decent matchup. We just need to shield this up because it is a Shadow Wall Rain doing a lot of damage with that Earthquake non-stab. And we do have that play rough. I really was wanting to go with the Hydra Pump one, but uh, play rough is just going to be better for this team that I currently do have. All right, so since we did shield up that first Earthquake, we got a shield out of them. Let's see if they want to double shield that wall rain. If they do, that's perfectly fine. Okay, they are. So we're going to let the next one go. And what we want to do is probably go ahead and bring in the Haunter and then farm down. Letting this go, we want to hold on to that shield. When you have a Spilus and a Haunter, you definitely need a shield. When it comes down to the Spilus, if you're going up against a Charm user, forget it. Um, Haunter, Confusion, forget it. Shields are useless. So we have a Scrafty in the back. They swap back into their Nido Queen. We got the Haunter here. I do believe we have Shadow Ball. And yeah, we still have Shadow Ball. But what we're going to do is throw Sludge Bomb. We want to keep as much energy as possible. We're going to have to throw those sludge bombs at the Scrafty. We're able to take them out after farming a little bit more, which is exactly what we wanted to do. Going for the first sludge bomb is going to be doing an extreme amount. Look at that nice damage. You love to see that there. Getting to another one and taking the win with that Haunter up against a Scrafty. Let's go. Let's get it. All right. Next battle. Enjoy this team. 
all the time. I was, you know, I was like, okay, let's use Phyllis. What was that team again I used? Oh yeah, Haunter and Azumarill. Let's get it going again. And folks, I'm gonna have to say, it works perfectly fine in the current meta. So we're up against the need. And you know what, forget the little cup. I'm not doing any more of that crap. It's nonsense. You guys do not like to watch it. <laughs> so we will not be making any of it. Uh, so we have this matchup here. We're gonna just let it go. Okay, so what's the, what's the plan? We'll bring in Haunter, farm up a bunch. We do have Shadow Punch now. And let it go. Poison Fang's not very effective. They swap into their Wall Rain. We're going to go ahead and throw the Sludge Bomb just to do some nice chip and then bring in the Azumarill, of course, because, well, we've been debuffed on our defense and uh, we're going to have a pretty decent matchup here. So this is probably going to be Earthquake. We will shield it up again. And they typically go for Earthquake right off the bat. It's kind of how you want to play it out. Uh, going for a play rough here. Let's see if they want to use that last shield and they let it go. Fantastic. Still holding on to energy here. Let's see what's going to happen, folks. This is Zoomerill. It's been with me for quite some time. Of course, they bring back Nidoqueen. We farm them down with Bubble and they're bringing in a Trevenant for their last Pokemon. Going for the Ice Beam here and they're letting it go. Okay, immediately swapping into Haunter and we're just going to go ahead and take the win there. Looking good. If you're wondering why they didn't shield, he's like, I don't really think they had enough. They knew it was over. Now, this battle here. Okay. Bastard on lead with the uh, Sphylus. Could we have stayed? Probably. Didn't want to. Swapped into Azumarill. And I was like, come on. I need I need Hydro Pump. I want a top left right now. Stupid Bastard on. Nothing against this trainer here. <laughs> it's just some Pokemon. If you just don't have a thing to counter it, it's just going to hurt you bad. And here we are. Since they didn't swap. I'm thinking, okay, well, at least they're not swapping. This is a good sign. I mean, maybe there's something in the back we can handle here. Uh, we've already used the shield, and we're going to lose this matchup. So, <laughs> not, not particularly the best situation here. So, they're going to be swapping there, finally. Bringing in their save light to snipe our uh, Azumarill, and we're going to go ahead and bring in our Spilus. Now, this is return. I have to shield it. Unfortunately, we're going to be shieldless, and they still have two. Our, I, this is impossible. Yeah, this is not going to happen, right? It's just going to be fun to show all, all kinds of battles, even if we win or lose. So let's see how this does play out with the Bastard on here. And they have a Metacham, which is doing super effective with that counter. And then the Power Punch, Ice Punch, it's not looking good here. And they're going to potentially have, con or not Confusion, uh, Psychic for the Haunter. So we're going to get off a Body Slam to just do some damage. I'm trying to stick it out. I'm thinking in the back here, all right, the Bastion doesn't have much health. Haunter, come on. If, if you could take this out, Haunter, folks, did I did I trick you? No, well, Haunter's going to take out that, and they back out. They're like, wait a minute, the hell this is going on? That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go. All right, next battle, what are we going to see? So, uh, Wampert, all right, the Shadow. Okay, it's perfectly fine. Earthquake's going to hurt. That's not an earthquake, though. That was definitely too soon. Going to let that go. Most Swampers in the Great League are going to probably have um, Sludge Wave. Anyways, so they're going to be swapping into a Drapion. We go for a Body Slam here. We're just going to keep that Body Slam rolling since we do have an Azumarill that can handle that Swampert down the line. And, well, Haunter and Azumarill don't really want to see a Drapion. So we're going to go ahead and shield up our uh, Svilus here. And man, oh man, was it fun trying to finally figure out how to say its name when it first came out. Because I really didn't say its name before. I knew Dino and I knew Hydreigon. As far as Phylus, I never even bothered trying to learn his name. I was like, what the hell? What is that? Swalos? <laughs> so I just... And then when it came out and then I got uh, making videos for everybody. Oh, I got put in my place real quick. But that's what's nice about you guys. It's good, you know. There's a difference between a slight correction, a slight mispronunciation, and just completely butchering it. And you guys kind of correcting me, put me on course. I appreciate that. All right, back into the battles here. What do we got? Going for a play rough on their Azumarill. So this is another reason why having play rough is going to be nice. So we won that Bastodon, folks. We won that Bastodon lead. What did you think about that? Freaking awesome, right? All right, so i got to address somebody's comment, which is a good one, I mean. Uh, and uh, good point. Somebody said, I sound like I'm not enjoying doing PvP anymore in my commentary. Now, I gotta do a little explanation here. Uh, I have switched up my schedule in which where I edit and all this stuff, and depending upon the day and the news and what's going on. Um, but I usually edit my PvP videos at night currently right now. I shouldn't really do that anymore. I should probably 
edit them more like around 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. for the next day because I need to be ecstatic, I need to be excited. And so I've kind of conditioned myself to be a little bit more quieter and it's, you know, I've been awake all day and, you know, did a lot of stuff. So I may sound a little bit more tired, but believe me, I'm still having a blast in PvP. Folks, look, look, I was born to be a Pokemon trainer. I know that sounds so stupid and weird and cheesy. It's like you're grown ass man saying that phrase is really weird. Well, if you're making dollar dollar bills doing it, yeah, you know, it's amazing. So you're a Pokemon trainer and this is what I do. I love to do it. It's fun. I entertain you all and I have to keep coming up with ideas. I have to keep coming up with something that tops the next, that tops the next, and maybe not continuously topping the next, but you know, entertainment. Can't use the same team every day, every single day, and then get on the mic and be like, oh, welcome back trainers. Uh, today we're just gonna do some battles and uh, see what we have going on here. There's a lot of lag and it's really annoying. And, Come on, you, you, you see, you got the excitement, you got the energy. Trust me, I'm here. Just a little offbeat. I'm gonna get my steps going right again. Don't worry. Next battle, we got these uh, Talon Flame Leaves. Oh, I love these Talon Flame Leaves with this Phylus. You just gotta look out for that Brave Bird. So we're shielding that up. They're swapping into, I well, can't see Dragon Breath, a Stun Fisk regular form. So we're gonna go ahead and just stay here for now because Haunter doesn't wanna see it because of the Mud Bomb. Uh, Hunter doesn't want to see anything, pretty much. Um, and then, of course, the Azumarill with the electric moves. Although we can tank some of them, we will be swapping here in a minute. I think, I, yeah, there we go. I wanted to hold on to it because it can do a lot. Spyless, if it's going up against something that does, or it resists, like, I don't know, Talon Flames is still going to be able to put in that work. So we're holding on to it. And they're going to be swapping. they got a Swampert in the back. This is looking good. Put a smile on my face when I saw it. We're just going to throw Play Rough. I don't care if they shield it up. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we still got this Phylus, which is going to be doing a ton of damage with Dragon Breath. And we still have a shield left. Haunter in the back, ready to go, lying in wait. So we're going to go Body Slam. No need to build up for, to the Dark Pulse. I mean, you, you use that move, but Body Slam is what you're probably going to be mostly going for most of the time. So we're letting this go because now what we're going to do is try to see if we can build all this energy up and then take them out here. It should be fine. Shielding this up. Wait, is this there? No, they got three left. Farming them down. Okay, they back out. So as I started becoming more comfortable with this team again, realizing what Haunter can do again, things started getting real nice. So we have another Talon Flame lead. Yeah, you already know. That's great. They're swapping into a Shiftry. I think we're gonna just go ahead and stay here. We have a zoomer on the back. Haunter doesn't want to see it. Uh, Spyless would love to see a shiftery. So we're gonna just stay right here. They let the body slam go. I'm gonna let this go. Everything's resisted. Still doing a decent amount. We take them out before they get to another one. What you gonna come back in here with? Talonflame or Scrafty? Okay, so we immediately swap into our zoomer roll. Knowing and having this in the back of my mind that Haunter's gonna be good enough to go up against it with that sludge bomb we're confident enough we did it before you all seen it so we can take it on those counters power punch just got to make sure we shield up the foul play obviously that would one shot the haunter all right so azumar going up against the talent flame now the goal is to just get those shields they let that go if we can't get both that's fine we still have two i do believe we let yeah we're gonna let this go it is a brave bird that's perfectly fine now, at this point, I'm thinking, all right, what do we farm down with Haunter? Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do that. Just a couple of Shadow Claws because they debuff themselves. And now we have Energy bringing in Scrafty. And I'm thinking, I'm shielding, but I don't care if they bait. So they go Foul Play. We shield it up correctly. And you already know, Spilus is weak to counter, but still, we'll do a lot with Dragon Breath. They let it go. We take the win. Looking good. Thank you, Haunter. Again, taking a win up against Scrafty. Let's roll. And again, if you're thinking, well, why don't they just use our shields? They realize it's over. Um, it's kind of like... Uh, chess or checkers I mean you, you take your pick uh, good enough players can see several moves into the future just you know just by looking at the board and they know what's going to happen so when you play enough go battle league you know right just like chess and checkers next we're what's going on here we had a obstagoon and we're down who knows <laughs> Sorry, uh, now we're up against a Wigglytuff. Now that's a charm user I don't want to see. It's normal, but they let the sludge go. I guess they don't want to use bold shields. They're going to come back in here with Hopstacoon. Um, sounds good. I think we... Do we actually shield? Yeah, we do. I want to get the last shield out of them. And if we do, we'll have a shieldless opponent with a shield on our end and an Azumarill. 
That sounds good. And you have a Stunfisk, that's fine. That doesn't matter. We're weak to it, uh, both of our Pokemon, but Azumarill is a thick thing. And yes, we're using Azumarill because we're using a Spilus and a Haunter. Okay, we need the backup. So we're going to let that first one go and uh, go for our Ice Beam here. Super effective, last shield. And uh, we should be okay here. I think this might be a closer for Haunter. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let that go. Bring in a Haunter. We're going to get to the Shadow Punch. They're going to get to a Charge move, but we're going to shield this up. And at this point, I'm thinking, they better not have two. There's no way they have two. And we get to the Shadow Punch. Do you see why having Shadow Punch is better now? You definitely probably want to go with that if you're going to use it. So take notes there. All right, moving on to our next battle. What are we going to see, folks? Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't quite yet. A Swampert. Beautiful. We love to see that lead. They're going to be swapping into a Frostlass. Um, uh, yeah, we're going to shield this up. And what we want to do is bait. We need a shield out of them here. So if we can get a shield, that'd be, you know, what we need ideal. And they don't shield. So that's horrible. And that throws a, a wrench in this whole thing. Because now we've just used two shields and they got both. <laughs> now, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? All right, let's see how this works. Haunter. All right, buddy, let's see what you got. Come in here with that Swampert. We have a lot of energy. Throw in the first Shadow Punch here. Letting it go. Getting to the next one. Now, they should be at a Hydro Cannon right now. And our time up is not ready. Not quite yet. They're going to take us out here in a second. So they're building up extra. They knew exactly what they can get away with. And they built up that extra energy in that time that they had there. So we're going to go ahead and bring in Spilus. They got a Skarmory in the back. I uh, don't... I think this is weird. Um... This, this the way this ends here so I'll talk about it they actually don't use that last shield I don't know maybe sometimes that just works out like that sometimes that happens to me you think you're going to use it in a situation but it just doesn't work out somebody had more energy than you anticipated and then it just all just goes to crap right uh so let's see what happens here going for another ice beam and down they go uh, okay so they still got one shield less swamper here I don't know, maybe they thought Swamper was going to be able to take the bubbles a little bit better. But we're going to go down here and in comes our Spilus and we Dragon Breath them out here. Taking the win. Let's get it. All right, they knew we had energy on that. That's why they're probably holding onto that shield. Next battle met with a Shadow Hypno. Now we do need to look out for Ice Punch. That's going to be doing a lot. Confusion, not very effective. Shadow Ball, not very effective. Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, uh, Focus Blast also. It's going to one shot there. So they're going to be going for a, what was that, a Thunder Punch? That thing has Thunder and Fire Punch, that's all I remember. Swapping into their Greed It, we're going to go ahead and bring in our Azumarill here. Obviously we're not going Haunter because it's a normal type. So uh, Azumarill is going to be able to handle this. I do get a little, I don't know, I wouldn't call it lazy, but uh, I guess you could say careless. Towards the end here, and I let them get another charge move through. So yeah, I kind of screwed that one up. But that's okay. Could have tapped on it a little bit sooner. Down they go. I think coming out of this with less health is better anyways. Unfortunately, we get to the ice beam, but don't get it off. Wow. In comes the Spilus, and I'm going to go ahead and take a risk here. We're letting it go. Thunder Punch. They swap, and it is going to be a... What was <laughs> Oh, it's a Whizcatch. Okay. Oh, that's... that's uh, it's getting a little nervous here, because that's going to be able to spam Mud Bomb, which is going to essentially pretty much one-shot Haunter. Uh, so we got to be careful here, plus a couple of quick moves. It is squishy, but it can still at least take a hit or a charge move, a weak stab charge move sometimes. All right, so down goes the Spilus. We're holding on to our shields because what we're going to do is just farm up. Uh, and I do believe they swap into their Hypno right after this. And lo look at the confusion. So one, two, three. We take them out before the last one registers. And we're going to go ahead and throw these before they get off a Mud Bomb and Haunter yet again. Pulling off the clutch win for us at the end. Let's go. All right, moving on to our next opponent. We're going to be met with a... Oh, for Heracross. We need to get the heck out of here. Let's get it. Bringing in the Azumarill. They're going to swap into a Drapion. That's obviously not great. I think I call all of their charge moves here. So letting the first one go, Crunch. Nice call. Going to go straight for an Ice Beam. Uh, I'm expecting a shield. Let's see. They let it go. That sucks. Could have done a lot more with Play Rough. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. We're going to call this again. I think that's an Aqua Tail Crunch. And it is. Well, it could still be Sludge Bomb, but 
They go for another crunch here, going for an ice beam, and we're taking that win. Nobody used any shields. Perfect. Sounds good to me. They're going to be farming up with counter. Got a good amount of energy. We're going to go ahead and bring in Haunter to have a little fun as well and shield this up. We don't want to take a Rock Blast because it's going to do a lot of damage. And now we have all this energy and they swap into a Tyranitar. We bring in Spilus. So they're doing some good Shadow Smackdown damage. And we're doing a lot of damage with our Dragon Breath. Shielding up this Crunch here, we kind of need to just win this. What we need to do here is get both shields out of the Heracross. Once we've done that, the Haunter's going to be able to take them out. I do something very stupid when I bring in the Haunter. I think it has Sludge Bomb, and I want to go for a oh, Sludge Bomb. Sl blah, <laughs> sludge Bomb Flex, as you can see, as I was tapping. I think we would have won CMP. I'm pretty sure if we would have went for Shadow Ball. They get off a Rock Blast. It's not enough. I was so... I was like, yeah, better not chaos. <laughs> All right, and we take the win there. Looking good. Could have made that a little bit quicker if I would have just not uh, tried to tap on the Sludge Bomb that wasn't ready. Next battle, we're met with a Talonflame yet again. Let's go with these great leads with the Spilus. And we're going to go ahead and uh, shield it up. Brave Bird, good call. And they're swapping into an Azumarill. We're going to go ahead and bring in Haunter. Down a shield, not particularly the best. Kind of wanted to bait, but we're going to go straight for the Sludge. Can we land it? And we do. Wow, that is just amazing. All right, so Haunter did what we wanted it to do. It pretty much took out the Azumarill. So we're going to go ahead and just let it go. We don't want to use Bolt Shields quite yet. They still have two. Bringing in the Spilus to farm down that Azumarill. Not very effective. Dragon Breath, got to love it. Building up our energy. They had a Talonflame. What is going to happen? And a Trevenant. So since we have so much energy, now we're finally going to get off these uh, Dark Pulses. We haven't been using that at all. But at this point, I'm going to go ahead and bait. Since they know we have a bunch of energy, we're going to go Body Slam, not very effective, and we get a shield out of them. Now we just got to look out for them potentially catching here. So we're going to go ahead and let this go. It is a Seed Bomb, and we get to another Dark Pulse. Unfortunately, they're getting to their Charge move first at 1 CMP. Now I got to look out for catching here, and we're able to just get them locked in here. Going for the Dark Pulse, taking out that Trevenant. And in comes Talonflames, and looks like the Spilus is going to be sweeping up this entire team. Look at that. Well, it did not it didn't sweep with this entire team, not the Azumarill, but did pretty damn good. Let's go. Next battle, folks. I think this is the last one, so let's see what we have. Not a great lead, not a horrible lead, but not the not the best lead. <laughs> and that's good. We don't want the best lead for the last battle. Let's see how this works out. Letting the Rock Slide go. That was way too soon. Going to go for a Dark Pulse because Body Slam's not very effective. Plus, not Stab, of course. And we're already taking them down below half. We swap into a zoom roll to catch a Rock Slide. Let's see if we succeeded. And we do. Fantastic. Looks like they're going to stay right where they're at, which put a smile on my face. I always kind of like to see that here. Going to go for the Ice Beam because, well, we're not going for no play rough. While the bubble is super effective, slowly but surely chipping away. There is the Earthquake, and they're now going to swap into Vigoroth. Now, <laughs> we're going to have a little fun here with our Haunter in a minute. So we're going to shield up that Body Slam as though we want to get the last shield out of them here. Let's see if that is going to happen. And we do succeed and swap into our Haunter. And this is a Body Slam. Let's see how much it does on this Ghost. That's a stupid amount of damage. All right, that just shows you how squishy Haunter is. But we're going to go ahead and build up a little bit of extra energy beyond Sludge Bomb. Going for it, taking out the Vigoroth, which it got no shield in Altaria. They're like, what in the heck is going on here? This Haunter, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> so we go for Sludge, bringing him down below half. Down goes the Haunter as we were locked in there. And we're, I think we're going to go with the Spilus to Dragon Breath it up. We're going to be able to retaliate right back. Shielding this up, holding onto this Phylus, waiting for that swap, and there it is. With that Stun Fisk, bringing in the Azumarill to absorb the rest of the energy that they did have. And we'll let it go. Because we have no more shields, and so didn't they. So shield this battle, and Phylus finishing it off with a Dark Pulse. Thank you for watching, traders, and I'll be catching you all in my next video. Let's get it. Take care.